Okay, so we are now doing every other even. So this is 2 and 21, 3 and 7. So your prime factorization is 2 times 3 times 7. Not doing 4, we're going to do 6, 585. So that's a 5. Again, arithmetic on the side. 5, 1, 1, 35. So then that's 7. Um, 117, 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 7 is 9. So 117 is divisible by 3 because all the digits add up to 9, which is also divisible by 3. So this is 3, 9, um, 27. So that's 9. 3 and 39. So that's 3 and 13. So this is 3 squared times 5 times 13. Okay, that's 6. Now we're going to go to 10. So this is 3 and 31. And 31 is prime. 10, 12, 13. Okay, 14 is, this is 3 times 7. So this is 3 times 7 times x times y times y times y times y times y. And then, ooh, I never erased my arithmetic here from the previous one. We'll erase it now. Okay, and then 36, 2 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 3. So this is 2 squared times 3 squared G, G, N, 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 N. Okay. Missing factor, so 2 and not 20, just kidding, 2 and 10. 2 and 5, so this is 2 times 2 times 5 times z times z times z. I already have a 5z here, so what... Oh, man. Okay, I already have a 5z here. Got a little excited and went too fast. What am I missing? I'm missing two z's here, and I'm missing four of them. Or four number, not the number four. So 4z squared is what I'm missing. So again, I'm going to highlight what I already have, and then I'm going to multiply um, by what I have left over. Okay, not doing 24, 26. 2 and 20, 2 and 10, 2 and 5. So this is negative 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Q, Q, R, R, R. Okay, so what am I left with, or what do I have? 10 Q R 10 Q and an R. But uh oh, on the left hand side, I had a negative. So this whole thing's going to have to be negative because I'm going to be left with a negative. Negative 4 a Q and two R's. So I'm left with negative 4 Q R squared. Okay? And then 30, so this is 2 and 9, 3 and 3, so this is 2 times 3 times 3 times A, 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 B, B. What do I have on the right-hand side? I have, uh oh a negative 6. So I'm going to have to make this whole thing negative because the right side was positive. So I have a 6 here, and I have 3 A's there. So my missing factors are going to be a negative 3ab squared. Color it for you guys. Okay. 32, 33, 34. So then 2 and 10. 2 and 5, so this is 2 times 2 times 5 times x times x times x times y times y. And I have negative 2 and an x cubed and a y. So because it is negative, my answer is going to have to be negative since it's a positive on the right-hand side. So it'll be a negative 10y. Okay, so that's 34, 38. Oh, that's back to this, like, negative thing. So, again, what you'll notice is that, and I did this in the odd-numbered questions, but 
which you'll notice on the right hand side is the right hand side looks very similar to the left hand side except the x squared is negative and the y is positive on the right hand side so if i multiply this by negative one to check my answer i would have gotten a negative y a plus x squared by distributive property So then that would have given me by rearranging it, x squared minus y. So my missing factor is negative 1. Okay, and that is it for every other even.